So uh, he is my PG student, Dr. Nuri, who has made this model. Now I'll be explaining the appliance measure with the help of this model. So this represents the right posterior semicircular duct. So this model is to be worn on the head in such a way that this represents the nose or the anterior midline and this represents the posterior semicircular duct of the right side which lies at an angle of 45 degree to the sagittal plane. So the patient in the first position, the position, patient sits on the bed in such a way that when he lies down, his head will come beyond the table, beyond this end of the table. This is position number one. There are six positions. Position number two is that the patient's head is rotated to the right side, that means same side, by 45 degree, so that the position circular duct comes in midline, sagittal plane. Now, position number three. In this, the patient is asked to lie down, the head being supported by the examiner, and then head is extended by 30 degree. Now you can see that these photoconia present in the angle of the position product have started moving and in this position the patient will get giddiness. When the movement of the zootoconia stops, that means the patient stops having giddiness, position will be changed to position number 4. Now in the position number 4, the patient is rotated, head is rotated to 90 degree to the opposite side, that means left side. And you can see this again that the movement of the otoconia. So again the patient will be experiencing vertigo. And once this is, the movement of the otoconia stops or the patient says that there is no giddiness, the patient's position will be changed to position number 5. In that case the whole body is rotated by 135 degree so that the patient nose faces towards the earth and one can see again there is movement of the otoconia towards the uticle situated anteriorly towards the nose. So the patient will be having again giddiness. So the patient has experienced giddiness in position number 3, 4 and 5 in 3 positions. And once the patient stops feeling giddy or when the movement of the otoconia stops, the patient's position is changed to position number 6, that is position number 1. Now there is no movement and so the patient will be changed to position number 6. And now we can see that all the otoconia have entered anteriorly into the uticle and in this position the patient's head is maintained for 48 hours. In the recumbent position he is asked to sleep and after 48 hours the patient may lie down in the left lateral position so that the otoconia do not enter into the ampulla of the posterior semicircular duct.